Hi loves and welcome back to Stylish Fashionista. Today I'm going to be doing a review video for you guys. I'm going to be reviewing something that just came out to Canadian drugstores. I literally found this product yesterday and I was super excited to test it out for you guys. Now this product has been out in the states for quite some time but it finally came to our drugstore so I'm excited to introduce it. It is the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. So this product right here retails for about $19 Canadian with all the taxes included. In the States, I believe it's about $12 American. Now for that price of $19, I am really expecting some high quality here because I am usually a Maybelline Fit Girl and that product for the same amount, about 30 mils, costs only about $6.99 when it's on sale. So I'm paying three times as much for this product. So I've read up on this foundation and it is really targeted towards normal to dry skin types. I personally have a normal type of skin type. It's not too dry nor is it too oily. So according to what I've read online, this should work great for my type of skin. However, if you are more on the oilier side, this foundation may not necessarily be great for your skin. I've read up that the Pro Matte Infallible foundation, the one that comes in the red packaging, that would be more suited towards more oily combo skin. So I'm going to talk to you guys about a few of the product claims. This product claims that it will last for up to 24 hours. Now, I'm not going to be testing it out for 24 hours today because I do have to sleep for work tomorrow, but I will definitely test it out for the day for you guys. So online it claimed that this will hide imperfections and it will give you a very clear complexion. So as I'm reading the back of this packaging, it says that it is a radiant finish and it wears up to 24 hours like I said and the coverage is medium as well as the texture is to be air light. So let's give this baby a try. So this product comes in 12 different shades and today I'm going to be using Classic Tan which is 210. All right, so let's take a swatch of this product for you guys. I'm gonna open it up. Ooh, it's kind of runny actually. I'm kind of interested to see how well this goes on my face. That right there is classic tan. For application today, I'm going to be using a damp Real Techniques beauty sponge. like how well this foundation photographs in natural lighting. I think it looks absolutely stunning and flawless. In comparison, we have the flash photography. As you can see, this photographs with a very dewy look to it. It also has a little bit of that glow and that sheen. So I completed my face. I've done some highlighting, some contour, a little bit of blush. The one thing that I did not use was concealer. The reason being is because I really want to know how well this foundation stands on its own. So far, I'm really liking how this foundation feels on my face. It feels really natural and lightweight, so it's like I'm not wearing anything at all. And I absolutely love it when foundations feel like that because I don't like that cakey feeling. So the current time is 11.17 a.m. Now I will check in in a couple hours and let you guys know how the foundation lasts. So the current time now is 7.04 p.m. It's been about eight hours since I first put this on my face. My face is still pretty much intact. The only change that I really noticed is just around my nostril area. So if I zoom in just right over here, it's a little bit patchy just on this side and just underneath here. And that's mainly because I do 
tend to touch my nose and blow my nose throughout the entire day. I have really bad allergies right now as well. So that's very common for me for the foundation to rub off. All right, so let's go over some of the pros about this foundation right here. Honestly, number one, as we can tell from my test today, it is pretty long lasting. Now I can't guarantee that it'll last 24 hours because I didn't test it for that long. However, for the eight hours that I did have this on my face, it was really impressive. It did last the whole day. So the second pro is that this foundation has no scent at all. Number three, I would say that this foundation has pretty decent coverage. I didn't have to use any color correctors and this did a pretty good job. And of course, I would also have to say that this foundation is so lightweight. What I love about this is that it feels like you're wearing nothing at all. This is such a great formula. And lastly, I just love that it gives you this fresh and natural glow. And now for the cons about this product. Number one I have to talk about is just the packaging. Unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of the squeeze bottles. The reason being is because it tends to get a little bit messy for me and I find that a lot of product drips around the side. I wish that this could come in kind of a pump form because I find that it's a lot easier with a pump to get the right amount of product. Another con I have to say is that unfortunately this line only has 12 colors. So hopefully they're gonna expand it because I feel that if you are my skin tone or darker, you don't really have much color selection to choose from. So overall, what do I think? Is it worth that $19 price tag? Well, after my review, I would have to say that I actually really like this product. I had high expectations because it was triple the cost of a drugstore foundation that I normally purchase. I have to say it exceeded my expectations. With this foundation, it works so well with my skin. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. I hope you guys found it really helpful. If you guys did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.